guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Captain Mozar. That's right, the leader of the Triceratons comes to the Nick Turtles toy line. The Triceratons are a big deal in the current season of the cartoon series, so it's pretty sweet that we're already getting the leader of the team on the toy shelves. So let's go ahead and take a look at this brand new action figure. As you can see, he comes on that Nick Turtles blister card packaging featuring that new artwork with the Dimension X logo across the top and all four turtles in their spacesuits from the Nick Turtles cartoon series and of course the blister bubble that fully showcases our action figure within. When you flip that box around to the back side, we get a bio for Captain Mozart and down below that, we get a look at several other TMNT action figures from Playmates Toys. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at Mozart outside of the packaging. Like I said, the Triceratons are a big deal this season, and it's another one of those classic Ninja Turtles characters that is so cool to see return in the new series and in the new toy line. We've had many versions of the Triceratons in past toy lines, and this new figure here is pretty sweet. One thing that I absolutely love about this particular figure is the sculpting. I really feel like Playmates did an amazing job with the overall look of this character. Let's start with that head sculpt, because the head sculpt is the part that truly shines on this guy. The amount of detail that is put into the sculpt of the head is just perfect. I mean, look at that. Amazing Triceratops looking head there. Uh, I just love all of the sculpted detail. Almost like you got some cracks and everything up here uh, in the top portion, the crown going around the head. Um, but lots of great kind of reptilian scales and everything worked in. Uh, you can see over on the side of the head there, we got the nice scar kind of coming across the eye. Um, you know, the nice little silver plate on the front of his nose there. You got the blue eye on the right side. Overall, just a really, really great sculpt. Uh, and the paint job is decent on here with the horns uh, being a different color than the uh, kind of yellowish of his skin. Uh, the eyes are painted. Of course, you got the blue eye and then you got the whited out eye where the scar is and the nice silver and red scene on the nose plate there. Um, really, really great head sculpt. I love it. Um, the rest of the figure looks pretty great as well. When you come down and you look at a space uniform there, there's a nice amount of detail worked into that. Also, uh, great textures on there, along with the little Triceraton insignia scene on there. Uh, the body is mostly done in just a solid black, but we do have some really nice gray highlights seen on the stripes on the sides, uh, kind of coming down the front. Of course, all the yellow bits are painted there. Um, and that brings you down to the boots, which are very, very unique looking boots. Uh, I do love the way it's kind of sculpted to look like it's all dinged up and everything. Very nice looking. Um, um, the boots are bright yellow. Um, this is the only place that I'm really going to complain about the paint deco because it is missing the silver. The bottom of the boots are supposed to be painted uh, more of a silver color so that they're a combination of yellow and silver. Uh, but instead, they're just a straight silver. However, the rest of the figure looks pretty good. Uh, the tail on his back is a solid yellow, so that could use a bit more paint deco. But the rest of this figure, uh, I really like. I think he actually looks really good. And like I said, the sculpt definitely shines through on this guy. Uh, really great looking all around. And he's a very chunky figure. He's hefty. Um, feels nice and solid. Just has a real great feel to him. So overall, really like the look of this guy. So let's go and talk articulation. Uh, the head is able to swivel left and right. Now, because of kind of the hunched back we've got there, uh, it is kind of more like it rocks side to side, uh, but that's what we get with the head there. We do have the ball-like joints at the shoulder, so the arms can go upwards, uh, slightly hindered because of this part of his uniform on the right arm, but it's not too bad. Uh, arms also go forwards and backwards, of course, and we've got really nice swivels at the wrist, which is great because we don't see that too often, uh, as well as a waist swivel, something else we don't see too often in this line, so that's very nice. Uh, we've got the standard hinge-like joints at the thigh, so legs can go outwards, forwards, backwards, as well as kind of swivel around there. Um, no other articulation at the boots or anything, but with the way they're sculpted, uh, I actually kind of understand that with this particular figure. And then we've got the tail, which also swivels side to side. Um, so yeah, it's pretty decent amount of articulation, and definitely a little bit more than we typically see uh, on a lot of the current TMNT action figures, especially with the villains. 
Uh, biggest downfall with this guy is the fact that he doesn't include any accessories, which is a real bummer. He should definitely have at least a blaster of some sort. In fact, that bio on the back of the box lists his preferred weapons. Why doesn't he come with any of those? I kind of feel like we got the better sculpt and a pretty decent paint job and articulation on this figure, but totally missed out on a weapon as a result, and that's a real bummer. Uh, Mozart's got nothing to fight against the turtles with. He definitely needs a gun at least. Uh, but otherwise, I really like this guy, and his size is even pretty good. I mean, when you stand him next to the turtles, you can see he's still taller than the turtles. Not too much bigger, but you know what? I'm not even that uh, worried about the scale. I think he's pretty good. They are big hulking guys in the TV series, but... Uh, it's not too bad like with Leatherhead. Leatherhead was way too short. Um, I'm actually pretty good with Mozart's size with the, in relation to the turtles here. Alright my friends, it's comparison time! Here's a look at Captain Mozar standing alongside the vintage Triceraton figure. Uh, pretty cool looking at these guys side by side here. Now, there was a Mozar in the 2003 series as well, but unfortunately I don't have him or any of the other Triceratons to throw into this comparison shot. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Captain Mozar, leader of the Triceratons. Overall, I do really like this figure. I think it's a great sculpt. One of the better, more detailed sculpts that we've seen in this line so far. Biggest downfall is that he has no weapons. That is my one true complaint about this figure. But otherwise, he's pretty great. Uh, and also, I found that this one is pretty easy to come by right now. He is exclusive to Walmart stores for the rest of 2015. And it kind of seems like Walmart's getting full cases of both him and Lord Dreg. So hopefully, you'll be able to track him down and add him to your collection pretty easily. Happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.